How's everyone doing today? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. My name is Odie Matthews. Welcome back to my channel. On this website, we like to call www.jacketweek, episode three, still wearing the same clothes, .com slash youtube.edu. And today, we're gonna take a look at two of my other personal favorites, because these are all my personal favorites, otherwise I won't be talking about them. But the puffy jacket from Koala Tree and the hoodie from Koala Tree. Let's get into it. Okay, so first off, I will say about this puffy jacket, I have actually a full video on this thing already. I'm only throwing it into Jacket Week because we are talking about jackets this week. If you're new, this is your first episode. This whole week is jackets. I think it should be Wednesday by now. I have no idea. But I already have a full episode on this puffy jacket. I will quickly say, this is my favorite puffy jacket I have ever owned. It is better than North Face. It's better than Patagonia. It is better than uh, Columbia. It's better than any of those other companies you get puffy jackets from. And it is roughly the same price as those. If you want to know more about it, I have a full in-depth review where I actually used it in the snow and talk about it. But if you are looking for a great puffy jacket, I highly suggest checking out Koala Tree because they are phenomenal. And I really love this. So I'm just throwing it in here at the beginning. What we're really going to talk about is the, the, the hoodie because I haven't talked about this one yet. But puffy jacket. Super good, super worth checking out. So the first thing I will say is this is made from recycled materials, which is really awesome if you're a big eco-conscious person like myself, because I work for an environmental company, you know, companies that make products and make materials out of environmentally friendly or environmentally friendly ways are a huge bonus. So this hoodie is uh, no exception. Koala Tree is an amazing company. I've talked about their pants on this website, or this website, my channel. My channel is on a website. This, however, is not a website. So I've talked about their pants on my channel, this um, jacket. Now we're talking about their hoodie as well because they make phenomenal products. Actually, I'm I'm in my apartment. I can see outside my window on my balcony. I have my, my hammock uh, set up. So, you know, another cool product from them. Quality makes amazing things. It's uh, mountain to city, right? So you can do it for both. Their, their products are meant to be up in the wilderness and also meant to be for your daily commuters out there that just travel normally. So with this hoodie, right, I am 5'8". 170 pounds, this is a medium, and it is a very comfortable fitting hoodie. That's the main point probably for all of these is that they're comfortable, but with this one, you really get a different kind of material, a different kind of feel on this one. It does not feel like your typical cotton hoodie. It does not feel like your typical puffy jacket material or even like that merino wool. This has a very different feel to it. It's a nice feel, it's a great feel, but it's very different from a lot of the other ones that um, I think I've ever had before. This is like the only hoodie I have that really fits this way. What makes this unique, right? So why, why am I just gonna mention a hoodie, right? If I was like, hey, just buy this hoodie, end of video. It's a great hoodie, it's comfortable. Buy, get it, end of video. But there's actually something unique about this. Just like all of these have like a certain kind of uniqueness from the pastures being a great winter jacket with lots of pockets. Unbound Merinos being a great travel, compact, lightweight hoodie that travels really well. It is light and it's comfortable. This one, right? And you can do the same thing on puffy jacket. This has a kangaroo pouch, right? So you have your normal like pass through little pouch here, but then above that, there's a little zipper, right? It's a little zipper. There's another little pocket here. You can throw stuff in if you want. Let's say you're on the plane right? and you're like, oh, I need a hoodie for when I get off. It's like, you know, it's like 40 degrees or whatever. And you're like, oh, I don't want to wear this, but I don't want to pack it. So then you have it in your lap and you're like, oh, it's making it try to sleep with it. Well, um, I'll tell you, if you want to sleep with this hoodie, right? Say you are tired and you're, you need need some rest before you get off that plane in Vancouver. So you can, uh, well actually if you're going to Vancouver, you probably want something a little bit heavier than a hoodie, but you know, whatever it is you're, you're doing, right? You can uh, fold this. I am stalling for time because I, there we go, right? And you can, it, it becomes, Comes a little, comes a little travel, travel, travel pill. Comes a little travel pill, um, and it looks like bumpy and stuff, but actually, um, that's pretty cool, right? I mean, come on, you can fold up your hoodie into a pillow for the plane, or the car ride, or the train ride, or whatever it is. And then, why have it inset out? These pockets inside the the pouch are Velcro, so if you want to put the more valuable things, if you're walking around or whatever it might be. So yeah, that is the cool feature on this hoodie is that it is uh, easily transformed into a pillow and then back to a hoodie. It also, like other jackets of this style, have that little 
place for your thumbs. I don't use it. You don't have to use it. I'm not a big fan of using it, but that I think is a great feature. You also have a place in here for a cord pass through. So if you wanted to like have your phone in your main pocket and the charger in the other pocket, I, I guess you can charge it on the move. I imagine you're gonna have a bag. And if you don't know what bag to pick, oh boy, I got plenty of videos on bags might be interested in. If you need a good bag, just throwing that out there as well. But the Koala Tree hoodie is superb, man. Like it is very comfortable. It is not a lounge around hoodie for me personally. This is more of my going out hoodie. This is more of a travel hoodie, more in line with like what Unbound Merino is. You could wear this casually, you could wear this, you know, out and about to the bar, you could wear this on the plane. It all depends on your preference. So this is like the other travel-esque hoodie besides Unbound Merinos that I talked about on this channel. And then also you've got a lightweight puffy jacket that keeps you super warm in like 20 degree weather. Um, I talked about that in my video actually. It's, it's pretty fun. I was like in Minnesota in the winter time. It's crazy. It's like a year ago. Um, so yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, the hoodie jacket, right? So you have the ability to make it into a pillow. You have some organization, you have a nice pocket. It's very comfortable. It's made from recycled materials. It also comes from a company that truly cares about the products they produce and they also specialize in a lot of this stuff. Quality is amazing and I absolutely love them. And one day I'm gonna get my hands on their backpack that they have. It's not on Indiegogo right now. Um, if you wanna look into that, uh, I don't have a link for that one, but uh, they came out with a backpack and one day I'm gonna talk about it. So who knows? If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer those for you. If there's a product you want me to get my hands on and do a review on it so you know what it's like before you buy it, let me know. Email me, odmatthewsbags at gmail.com. Uh, follow me on Instagram, od underscore Matthews. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching all the episodes on Jacket Week, that's awesome. I appreciate that. If you're just tuning in for whatever episode you want to watch, I also appreciate that. I appreciate you, and thank you again, and I will see you on the next episode. Bye. See ya. Adios. Honolulu. That's, that's, that's a place. That's a place.